We're going to talk about Packet Scan. That's our backbone product that is our all IP analyzer. And as you all know, everything is going IP. Everything is going to be connected to the IP. Well, telecom networks are already there. Uh, they're already uh, evolving towards all IP networks, wireless networks and voice networks and uh, data networks. They're all IP. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And first, we're going to discuss why IP. Now, why is the whole world going IP? Because their chipsets are cheap. And uh, the, the interfaces uh, for higher and higher rates, you don't need any multiplexing equipment. Uh, and uh, the, the, you can transmit voice, data, and image all on the same, uh, all on the same circuit. Uh, and finally, the protocols are just usually just software. So the physical layer, the hardware, is, is simply all right, so let's actually look at what packet scan is all about, where it's applicable. So let's uh, zoom in on this uh, on our this very busy diagram. Okay, so packet scan uh, is applicable for all telecom networks. Here you'll see that it's uh, for wireless protocols over IP. That's the top uh, little diagram. It's got uh, 2G networks, 3G, LTE. Over to the right, we have VoIP networks with uh, SIP signaling and media gateways and connections to the PSTN. Uh, over to the left, we have video conferencing, so IP is applicable there as well. The protocols there are called H2.63 and H.264. Uh, of course, the, uh, the, the, the actual voice protocols are called SIP, um, MGCP, Megaco, and uh, you can have you don't necessarily have to be connected to the uh, voice, uh, the, to the PSTN network. It can be an all, all IP system. Uh, and finally, uh, packet scan can be connected to packet scan web. That's what we call our network surveillance. So you can deploy packet scans all over the network. You can have multitude of them, hundreds of them, or just a few, and having them talk to a network a database. All of that information collected by packet scan is brought to the central database and you can view all the same information that you would have seen uh, at the individual packet scan you can now see it collectively at the uh, packet scan web all right Vijay can you tell us more about packet scan platforms sure Shashi okay packet scan platforms we have three different ways that you can run packet scan you can run it on a notebook PC uh, with using the NIC card. That's up to about 300 megabits of aggregate traffic, which is a lot. I think that's about 2,000 simultaneous calls. Uh, we require you to use a dongle with that just to, just to protect our software. But uh, that's a, a, a very uh, inexpensive way to go. The other way is our Packet Expert, which has up to a giggy interface. It can filter, hardware filtering wire speed capture so that's a really powerful way of doing it that can go I don't know, tens of thousands of calls uh, the other one that we're working on right now is going to be out soon uh, Jigdish is working on it uh, it's uh, the Gigi and beyond platform so uh, and uh, that that can do hundreds of thousands of calls <laughs> okay so uh, we'll talk about that more I'm curious what is packet scan <laughs> glad you asked Packet scan is actually two things in one, real-time analyzer and packet data analyzer. So let me tell you exactly what each one of those is. All right, our real-time analyzer. This is our standard protocol analyzer. All our protocol analyzers look exactly the same. So that if you're running packet scan and then you go to ISDN analyzer or SS7 or I don't know, whatever, uh, they're all going to have the same look and feel, and they're all very powerful, user-friendly, and all that good stuff. So the main thing about the real-time analyzer is you set a, a capture filter and a view filter so that you can get the right frames. You know that Ethernet is filled with a lot of stuff, a lot of packets that are irrelevant to the, what you're trying to analyze. So you want to filter all those out, and you want to only capture the stuff that you're interested in. So that's what it does, and then it has a a whole host of statistics that help you analyze that traffic, the throughput, the number of calls, and so on. Call detail records, that's a really great feature. It allows you to see all the, call re all the calls bunched together. Uh, it can, the packet scan, as I mentioned before, can be connected to, a, the, natural, uh, to the uh, uh, network management system. 
so there can be a lot of packet scans out there. Uh, okay, one of the really great features of packet scan is so many codecs. We've got lots and lots of codecs that are supported, uh, uh, not just your uh, uh, run of the mill G711. Um, and almost all the protocols, so all the telecom protocols that are IP based are covered here. And unlimited capture, so you're only restricted by the amount of hard disk space. Okay, what else? Packet Data Analyzer. Packet Data Analyzer is actually the heart of Packet Scan. It is wonderful. I love it. Uh, it actually goes into the RTP, whether no matter what codec it is, G711, G729, or obscure protocol like EVRC, or I don't know, G723.1, G726, which is a wideband protocol, or AMR, narrowband, wideband, all of those. So it goes into the RTP, pulls, decodes it, and gives you, and then also looks at the packet statistics, gives you the voice quality, the, uh, the content, it can give you the wave graph, the spectral, and so many other things. It's just uh, it's a fantastic uh, graphical way of presenting information at a glance. You can find out what the problem is. And it can do in-band, out-of-band digits. It can do that T38, which is fax uh, demodulated and uh, sent as packets. Sounds great, Vijay. When are we going to get into the details? Next videos, okay? The subsequent videos are going to be talking about software installation and then all of those features that I was talking about, the real-time analyzer features, and also all those features I talked about, the packet data analyzer features. So we're not going to do it all in one video. It's going to have multiple videos. Each video is going to concentrate on one or the other.